about Michael is you loved him, but you hated him. You know, you know he, he, you could still, you still found that he was so cringy, yet you loved him. You know what I mean? I mean, how do you pull that off? That was the genius of that show. Okay. All right. I think I'm nearly eating, so. Yeah, and I got the camera. Hooray. All right, so we're on these switch tracks, heading down. Um, Joy and Otto and Patrick, somewhere up there. They're trailing yeah, behind us. Switchbacks. Yes. Tough, but fun. Oh yeah, and um, it took like a while because we had to travel up to get down, but the mountains are huge and it's really pretty here. And there's snow, did I mention that? I haven't seen snow since like last year. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're talking about our hey, basic- Hey, family. Yeah, <laughs> hang loose, baby. So guys, uh, what we're talking about is our break, uh, how we do breaks. We do 45 minutes hiking and then we take a break. We try to set 45, an hour's a little long, a half hour's a little short. We find like 45 is a sweet spot where we can uh, do our 45 and then take a break. And then we have something, we can kind of look at our clock and know that if kids are getting antsy, like how much time do we have left? Oh, we got 20 minutes left. Gives us something to work towards and just kind of breaks things up into chunks. So we never really break that rule. That tendency when you get close to the end of the trail is to skip the break. Say, oh, we can make it there. We've been on trips where we've extended out another like three 45 minute periods, you know, another hour and a half, two hours, thinking we were just around the corner and we weren't and we didn't break and then everyone gets in a real bad state. So you guys, what do you think about that plan? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, man, okay. it rocks. 45, 45. So we're on our, we're down to 2137 of this 45. We're hoping we make the lake before we have to break, right? But then that'll be the debate. I don't think so. That'll be the but debate. what do you think we're gonna do? Make it before the 45? Click on the link echo. below. If comment you think, below. <laughs> comment below. If you think we're gonna make the lake before this 45. Right. We're getting down, guys. We're getting down. It was in good condition and it was really super scenic. Maybe there's a pretty flat rock in the campsite. It'd be very nice. Well, we are in uh, bear country here in the Olympic National Park. Bears really want to get into the food. You hear about issues at Yellowstone and other national parks. So they require when you're in the back country here, always use a bear can. And I'll show you the bear canister in a minute. But up at the lakes, they also have another system that they use. Um, and we used to do this camping, you'd hang your food. But to make it easier for you, so you don't have to kind of find your own branch and use your own rope, they just set up a, a bear line. So you can see it up here. They basically just rig a cable, big strong cable across these two trees. And then they have these pulleys that run down. I think they have four pulleys that run down on these hooks. And you just hook on your uh, food, run it up the pulley. And then they have a clip on the other end of the, of the cable that you just clip into the, the ring down here at the bottom. So a really easy system, really fast. It gets your food up high out of the way. And if I had known, we probably wouldn't have brought the cans because the cans are heavy and hard to pack. This system is a lot easier to use. And I think they have these lines at, um, at the other lakes as well. So it would have been something to know in advance next time. Probably when you do your own uh, bear line and try to throw a rope up over branches. You know, invariably you, you don't get it high enough. You don't find a high branch. So you settle on a real low branch. And we always like to call those bear air pinatas. They minimize impact. Instead of digging cat holes, which some areas do, but pretty soon the areas can get pretty fouled up with, with human waste when there's cat holes everywhere. They do a, a composting toilet. They, they ask that you minimize use the toilet paper if you can, and they also uh, they don't want you to pee in there if you can help it. Um, try to keep the, the liquid out of there, and I guess that improves the ability of the, the solid waste to compost. So a nice setup for us anyways. You don't have to dig holes and I don't have to run into anyone else's uh, holes. Move on up to Gladys Lake, get up to the high, higher country. So we packed up our spot. We got another family moving in, so that's kind of nice. And we're gonna make our way back up to the juncture and head on up. We think about 1.8, we're calling it two. And I gotta put on my 45. I'm hoping we get there in 245. Switchbacks, guys, and then it's kind of moderate on up. I see the sign. Yeah, coming past Moose. So yeah, I was kinda, here's our toilet sign.
Oh, nice. Where? On the rock? Oh, look at it running. Cool, guys. It's fine, guys. There'll be tons more. It's a big one. Oh, there it went. On our way up towards Grand Pass. Been kind of a tough night. Uh, bugs have been really bad in camp. We've got our DEET. We've got all our stuff on. It's cool enough to wear stuff, but really you gotta pretty much have to stay in the tent. So that's been kind of a bummer for the kids. They can't really get out and explore. We may check out a slightly different campsite tonight. We're heading out tomorrow. Morale has been a little bit low on this stretch. Pass, nice air up here. Mosquitoes starting to lose, leaving at the lower elevations, so. Uh, we're gonna keep rolling and then we got one more night probably to deal with the bugs and then we'll uh, boogie out uh, tomorrow. Looking up this little snow field and then back down up the valley. It's nice up here, no more bugs. Yeah. <sighs> Easy trail. Right, uh... <sighs> A little tarn. Yeah, look at that. Nice, guys. Picture perfect. All right, so we made it. Check it out. We are super high. So we started from down there and we hiked all the way up here. We're gonna do some glissading on our way down, some foot glissading. They kind of cliffs off right here. They don't know what foot is. They're checking out the map here. Deception and, and mystery. Mm. Maybe about that. Right. Guys, wave high for the camera. Okay. So that's it. Wait. All right, let's go. It's going. This is our TikTok dance. back down the ridge the only thing I tell the kids is if you ever get into any exposed area where there's tricky walking or there's a chance of taking a fall focus on your feet and we learned that from a guide oh years ago and he said that he said look focus on your feet focus on your footwork when you want to look at the views we'll stop and look at the views but don't mix the two downhill try to find little flat areas that you can step and make it more like descending steps don't pick the real sloped gravelly areas find little places that make it more flat like you might find a rock so always look for those spots that give you a little bit of a horizontal step to work from what you use as a break as you come down uh, the hill <laughs> Finding some spots up here to do some boot glissades. Nice snow conditions, having some fun on our way down. Get you down a little faster. <laughs> I always check the camp for anything on the ground. I think we got everything. All right, guys. Talk to them and I'll start moseying down the trail a little bit here. <laughs> 